Hi everyone, I'm Joshua Chen. Today I want to talk about how to build up your own passive income. First, what is passive income? Passive income is different from when you work every day. Passive income occurs when you sleep and your income continues to accumulate. Rather than saying you do not go to work, so there is no income that day. Passive income is not to say that you never need to manage it. Will it automatically increase your wealthy? No. So take a little time to manage it. You have to keep track of it every day. Passive income comes in forms and names. I will now describe several major passive income. First is stock. We do not need to something about the stock every day after we bought them in stock market. If your stock goes up, your income has increased. Or banks, or some of securities, and the like. A mass of passive income. A commonly used passive income by Chinese is investment in house to get rent. While you sleep, your rent is going to your account. Third, right. After the book you wrote is published, you have the royalty or manuscript fee. These are passive income also. Your investment is in joining shops, joining restaurants. When they are running, you get your passive income. And now the most popular passive income is that we now every day is doing in YouTube. Some people go to work and after working engage in YouTube. He is advertising YouTube class or payment for his videos. He is joint selling with some companies. He sells his goods in his YouTube channel or his Facebook channel. They are example of passive income totally. Passive income is a very important area of making money. People never look down on it. Chinese have an old saying. Horse which didn't eat grass overnight won't be strong. People who have no windfall are not rich. Which means you simply rely on wages to live from chick to chick. There are a lot of people, including some talents of mine in the United States, is such a condition. English called from hand to mouth. That is from his hands. All the money into his mouth did not put a little savings. I do not mean a win for like some corrupt officials in China to take the property of the state to give her sugar babies. I see when for here is a passive income. You invest in a book, buy a house, buy shares. I say the financial freedom is not to say that you can use the money endlessly. I mean financial freedom is living comfortably, not hand to mouth. You do not worry that one day you will live from paycheck to paycheck and feel you are very short of money. 
you can get a very comfortable ideal life for retirement. Some retire much early in life for their passive income are very high. They had to invest in real estate, equity investment, etc. They have a very strong foundation financially, so they do not go to work. They rely on passive income to live. Then I will talk about my own passive income. With in China or in the United States, my passive income far exceeded my work income. Let me first talk about my passive income in mainland China. I was a university teacher in China. My major is fashion. My teaching course was fashion, clothing, import and export business. I didn't need to stay in university every day. I had classes two days a week in university, another day of learning political issues. But also I have a winter and a summer vacation. So I spent my own time of writing. In 1996, I published my first book, which was the first larger fashion dictionary in China. The dictionary was published by the Shanghai Far East Publishing House, and its price is 180 RMB. After the publication, the book caused a sensation and many media had reported about it. Before publication, Wu Wenying, the mainest of ministers of textiles of China, made her inscription in this book. As well as the minister of textile also made a red-headed document to dream up support for the book, say that this book fills a gap between China and the world. This is the first comprehensive, systematic, versatile fashion dictionary, which is issued by the China National Textile Council. That is the Chinese textile ministry. Read the title document number 42 was issued in 1997. This one is China Textile Association Education Department 1997, March 26. A dictionary of the world customers is the first larger scale multifunctional comprehensive reference book in China. Recently published by Shanghai Far East Publishing House, the masterpiece filled up the blank of the history of fashion publishing history. The book brought me big fame and fortune. You may say, Lao Cheng, heroes do not mention past glories. Why do you talk about old story? I'm not a Huang Pu selling melons and browsing. I'm an example for everyone to know about the importance of passive income. Before my book was published, Shanghai Far East Publishing House signed an agreement with me. They asked me to sell 1,000 books. They painted a total of 2,500 books because the publisher did not know if they would be good the sales of the book. Although Minister of the Minister of Textile Wu Wenying wrote the preface of the book, the first leader of the Shanghai Textile Bureau, Zhu Kuangyu, who is also an eminent person in Shanghai, was my general counsel of this book. 
He is the nephew of Deputy Premier Minister Zhu Rongji. But publishers still had cold feet. They told me to pack 1,000 to sell, and I agreed. They would sell their own 1,500, but they gave me a discount, 65 in price. The book surprise they gave me was 117 Chinese dollar each. There is 63 Chinese dollar cheaper than original price, 180 Chinese dollar. After shipping box home, I went to a lot of cities to sell box, mainly in coastal cities. Because I had this red title document and had asked some of our textile and clothing related industries to buy this book. That was very helpful for me to market the box. My ex-wife and I shipped the box to Beijing Cruising in Port and Export Companies. Textile Import and Export Company. Tianjin Textile Import and Export Corporation. Cruising Import and Export Company. I always went to foreign trade enterprises to sell the book because foreign trade enterprises are rich and they really need this book. My book in both Chinese and English, there are three different ways to index. First, English alphabet, 26 letters to index the entire book. In front of book, there is a stroke index of Chinese. In the end of the book, there is a classified index. That is very beneficial to foreign trade works. That they are very helpful if they wanted to check an English explanation of Chinese, it was very convenient. So I took the box out each time they sold out fast. Some paid me check and some simply paid me cash. A thousand box soon totally sold out. I sold them all for 180 Chinese dollar each. Because each buck was 63 Chinese dollar earning. No any company bargained with me after they read the red title documents. That is the number of official documents as well as the signature of Wu Wenying. They say nothing, give me money. I immediately got 63,000 yuan from 1,000 box. The box was published in November 1996. After I took the box, I immediately went to sell them. My ex-wife and I pulled two pallets packed for once. There are more than 100 books inside. Because the book was very thick, 1,357 pages, the two of us worked very hard. We two took two pallets to the train station and then we went around the coast from Beijing, Tianjin, Qingdao, Nanjing to Guangzhou all the way to the big cities with a lot of books and I sold them out. I made money from this book. Not only in China, I carried some books to the United States. And these books I brought from China were totally sold out in the United States. 
Some branches of New York Library 博物馆，因为这是二十年前的事。Flushing Library, Manhattan Library, etc. The famous Fashion Institute of Technology, FIT, bought my book because there are also many Chinese students there, and they needed this book. Some universities, clothing department, bought my book. If you are interested in this book, you can find this book in FIT library. I wrote FIT's address here. In flashing, this book would have never been on the shelf just because it was twenty years ago. It has been taken away from the shelf. They spent fifty dollar to buy my book in the United States. I also make a lot of money from this book because I bought a book from publishing house at one hundred seventeen Chinese dollar. That time, the renminbi to U.S. dollar ratio is eight point three to one. So one book is only less than twenty American dollar. The publishing house gave me more than forty thousand Chinese dollar royalty from this book, and plus more than sixty three thousand benefit from selling book. So I certainly got one hundred thousand to one hundred ten thousand RMB. That was in nineteen ninety six. In the 1997, when the Chinese dollar didn't、uh, devalue yet, Chinese currency was still valuable. The book brought me the money far more than the salary I got、uh, as a teacher at the university. As a teacher, I got the salary more than a thousand Chinese dollar each month. Since that time, the RMB hasn't been devalued. More than one thousand RMB each month is a considered relatively high in that time, which compared to my passive income from the book was very trivial. My passive income. All of the sudden, there are as many as one hundred thousand RMB, but my salary only one thousand to two thousand month. So that in China, my passive income was far more than my daily income. I said that it was the so-called to get a benefit in both fame and the money from the book. Getting famous was that many newspapers were reporting this dictionary and his author. Our industry gave me the title of a senior engineer. That was when I was only about fifty years old, and I became the youngest senior engineer of our line in that time. This one is the very typical passive income. Now I'm talking about how I got my passive income in the United States. In the United States, I got my passive income mainly from rent, except working in a Chinese restaurant as a delivery man. I bought a house. In August twenty eight two thousand nine in Massachusetts, it is my first real estate in the United States. That time is the worst economic time of the United States. Also, it was the cheapest price to buy any property. I remember that the lowest price for a house was only ten thousand and twenty thousand. The house I bought is located in a good area near a beautiful lake. My agent had strongly recommended that I bought this house. I spent fifty-eight thousand 
to buy this house. That was in 2009. If it was 2007, the house price was soaring. There was a big difference from 2009. In 2007, because the property's price was crazy high, that cost many American banks held a lot of bad debits because they foolishly loaned customers unable to pay the mortgage to buy a house. My three neighbors totally bought in 2007. During 2009, the price of their three houses went totally into the toilet. The price they brought the house was far higher than the price two years later. The original owner of my house had abandoned this house for the house's mortgage was more than the house was wood in the 2009 market. If he kept paying the loan from bank for his house, it was very uneconomical. So he went away with his three children. He abandoned the house and also did not pay any loan for the bank. So the bank put the house in foreclosure. A lot of people wanted to buy this house because it was very cheap. The price had suddenly dropped from 119000 to 58000 My strength was that I have cash. My agent told the sales agent that I had cash in the bank and could pay off the house immediately. The sales agent agreed to sell the house to me. Okay, the house will belong to you if you bring your cash to us. So I quickly got to the house. The house had been abandoned, so there were problems with it. I began to fix it, watching YouTube clips about fixing house. I didn't ask other people to help me. As soon as I finished remodeling a room, I rented out the room at once. After I renovated this house, I rented a three bedroom out, kept but one bedroom for myself. I was working in Chinese restaurant as a delivery man. I just came back home to sleep two nights each week. Now that the house has appreciated to more than $168,000, that is my whole value added of $100,000 of dollars in this house. In 2014, the prices in house market had not rebounded in the United States. I had bought my second house in Massachusetts near my first house. They were asking 99000 I counter-offered 94000 cash. Their agent immediately agreed. This was my second house in the United States. It is a large house, two floors, price at 94000 I bought, has increased to nearly 200000 I have rented this house out also. The two houses have a broad nearly $5,000 rent each month in passive income. I rented them out by bedroom instead of the whole house. This is gave me more passive income. Take my second house as an example according to Zero.com. 
They suggested I can rent the whole second house for 1,800 each month for rent. But I rent out a whole house by bedroom. Why rent out by bedroom? There are two benefits. One benefit is that you can get more rent. In this house, I rent out by bedroom. The highest bedroom's rent is 800. The lowest one is 520. That totally nearly 3,000 for whole house. Minus facilities spending, I got more than 2,000 rental, which is more than if I rent the whole house. Second, the benefit is less risky. According to Massachusetts law 30 days notice, I don't have any contract with tenants. Under the law of Massachusetts, if you go, you are must give me 30 days notice to prepare. I want you go to give you 30 days notice to prepare. Every tenant who move into my house must give me two months rent. It is the first month's living and the last month's deposit. If he refuse to pay me his rent on time, I will know immediately. I still have a month's rent in my hand and I can negotiate or litigate with him. If talent wants to deny a month or two months of rent and go to housing court, I think they are not worth it. If my whole house is rented out, I have to sign a lease with a tenant immediately. A contract would be for a year and that at not a float like a 30 days notice. After he signed, he could deny to pay his rent, saying that the house is not good here or there. During one year, you cannot evict him because you have a lease with him. He can live in your house without any payment. If you persecute him, he still can live in your house until the lease expires. So after a year, your loss is great. During a year, he could destroy your house and make your house very dirty inside. You cannot get into your house because it is his right by lease. Now I rent the bedroom out one by one. Every time I come back home to get the rent, I would check my house carefully for its condition. Is it in good condition? Is it dirty? I cannot enter their bedrooms, but I can get into my house. This is my right. It is very different between renting my whole house for one family and renting bedroom for some tenants separately. The one difference is that you do not take a great risk. That is why I all of my tenants have paid rent for 10 years. Since I became a landlord. So far, I haven't brought any tenant to the court for rent. This is the advantage of renting bedrooms separately. This is my passive income in the United States. In 2011, I published my first English novel, Dragons and Insects. You can buy it on Amazon. 
In 2014, I published my second English novel, The Spirit of the Grain. I would like to get a passive income in the United States in this way, but this box did not give me any greater passive income yet. You cannot get fast money overnight and always be successful. Sometimes you do something for nothing. Also, sometimes you even have a failure. Of course, I cannot say that、uh, these two books are failure. Things I enjoy writing them, but、uh, they have not、uh, brought me a lot of passive income yet because、uh, I never promoted them. In addition to our retirement money, we both have a passive income. My passive income is from rent, but Wow's passive income is from stock. Wow has a lot of shares of stocks that are her ancestors left her. She never bought any stock. But her grandfather bought a lot of stock, such as AT&T and the many insurance companies and other companies. After the death of her grandfather, her father took over them. After her father, her mother passed away. These stocks became the property of Wow. She is an only child in her family. These stocks, while took over, are very valuable. These stocks are keeping so many years in her family. Some have changed the name of companies, or the company acquired by another company, but the value of the stocks have never changed. So she sometimes gets money from these stocks. Sometimes one thousand or two thousand. Compares with rent, stocks are changed dramatically. My rental income is relatively stable, almost five thousand dollars a month. Before I get rid of of some of the costs. Her passive income from stock have、uh, fluctuated considerably. When coronavirus ravaged the United States, American stock had、uh, plummeted, and her shares also lost a lot of money. And、uh, have、uh, really recently, her stock did not have much impact. On her life, because she also has a high retirement income. She was a teacher of a thirty-two years and has two master's degree in education. She will never sell these stocks like her ancestors. She will give them to her daughter and her son in the future. I have signed a prenuptial agreement with her. She will always own the property of her estate. My property will always belong to me. We have a common bank account for our daily spending, but our properties will go to our own descendants. My wife Wow and I have a retirement income. We hope our passive income would give you an inspiration. We have built our own passive income to achieve financial freedom. We hope you can get your passive income to achieve a prosperous financial freedom. Now, not a life living paycheck to paycheck. Well, today I chatted with everyone. I talk first. What is passive income? 
Secondly, I chatted about how passive income is important in our lives. Third, I talked about how to build your passive income, how to build your passive income in number of different areas through your efforts. Well, today I will stop here. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.